If you guys remember, I did a video last week about Chumley being arrested. Apparently he has some kind of sexual abuse allegations against him. Police obtained a warrant to raid his house, raided his house, and consequently found marijuana, meth, and guns. Well, that was the first report. Now apparently they've released more information. According to this article, the list of items found in Chumley's house is much worse than we initially thought. So I'm not going to waste any time because I'm trying to get high and play some of the division. So we're going to get right the fuck into this. All right, real quick before I start, I just want to make it completely known that this is nothing more than a smear campaign against Chumley and complete fucking propaganda. I don't know why they're trying to tear this man down, what he's done, but it's obvious that they're completely just trying to destroy him. Now, let me show you and explain to you why. Here's the list of the shit they found in Chum's house. A one gallon Ziploc with 116 grams or a quarter pound of marijuana. Two clear jars of marijuana, one of which containing 8.2 grams and the other containing 2.8. Another bag of marijuana with 4.4 grams of marijuana. Oh my God, he still doesn't even have a half fucking pound yet. Then we move on to some more serious shit. He has seven capsules of 1.7 grams of meth powder, 17 Xanax bars, which pretty much Anybody fucking 20 to 25 that's involved in hip-hop culture is going to have those. And eight unregistered firearms. Now let's break this down for a minute as to why I'm saying this is a smear campaign and complete fucking propaganda against Chump. They say he had eight unregistered firearms. Why is it necessary to list that they were unregistered when in Nevada and most fucking states in this country you do not register firearms? There's absolutely no law to register firearms. And if you call the state police asking on how to do so, they'll laugh at you. Because you literally can't even do it if you wanted to. So listing that he had eight firearms in his home, which is completely legal, and then going on to say that they were unregistered, it's just something that they're trying to do once again to smear his name. They want it to sound as bad as possible. Not only did he have guns, but they were unregistered too. Last time I checked, this was fucking America. Now moving on. Instead of saying he had weed, they broke it down as, oh, it's in this bag, and then it's in this jar, and it's all in these different things to try to make it sound as bad as possible. Or, I don't know, to possibly try to make it sound like he was possibly selling. But in case you guys didn't know, Nevada has actually decriminalized marijuana. And more so, they're a fucking medical marijuana state. Now we all know Chumley has money. So explain to me why they're making a big deal out of finding weed in his house. When I'm pretty sure because he has money, he has a medical marijuana card. And even if he fucking didn't, marijuana's decriminalized in the state. So more so, they're just doing and saying whatever they can to try to make this man sound bad. He has legal firearms and legal fucking marijuana, yet apparently it's a problem. Now moving on to the meth powder, I, uh, huh, the fuck you want me to say, chum? And the Xanax bars, I am not in any way, shape, or form condoning Xanax. I think it is fucking bullshit. I think any, uh, you know, government, any chemical fucking drugs are definitely not good. They're a no-go in my eyes and in my opinion. However, you know, once again, like I said, Xanax is like a fucking fad right now. There's a lot of people that are on the fucking Xans right now. And, you know, that's not me justifying it. It's just saying, come on, it's, once again, it's not crack. Now, meth is kind of kind of crack level as far as I'm concerned. Then it goes on to say that Chum actually admitted to the police that he smokes a lot of weed, which I can't blame him because I would too. Who the fuck doesn't smoke a lot of weed? And get this, he apparently has a room called the Chum Chum Room, which is basically like a party room with the stripper pole and shit in it, where allegedly police found baggies with cocaine residue and a rolled up dollar bill with cocaine residue. However, there were no charges for cocaine because I guess they couldn't prove it. So, with all that out of the way, Chum's got money and he was partying. He had a stripper pole, had some girls over, did a little bit of coke, maybe a little bit of Zans. Once again, I'm not condoning these things. I've never fucking touched coke before. I never touched Zans. I don't fucking suggest that you do it. But let's be real. These celebrities are doing those and a lot worse. He was doing these things in his own home. He wasn't harming anyone. And the main thing you guys are driving home is the marijuana and the firearms, which are absolutely fucking legal. Now, if you want to smear the man, smear the fact that he had Xanax and fucking meth in his house. And allegedly the cocaine residue that you found in the baggie, which apparently couldn't be tested. And even if it was tested anyway, it's been proven numerous times that police test kits are complete absolute bullshit. And just about anything will test positive, including Hershey's chocolate bars testing positive for marijuana. But that's a whole nother fucking video. So once again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think. You guys think Chum was on all this shit or do you think maybe this was for some of his friends or strippers or other people that were over? I still don't think he's on meth. I think he may dabble in the cocaine every now and again as most rich people do. But why is it that they keep trying to bring home the marijuana and the guns? Once again, this shit is completely fucking legal. And if it were not, as far as I'm concerned, those laws are null and void. Now it's time to go get high. Oh, and uh, Chum, I'm gonna smoke one for you too. We out. Where we come from? Hey. Well, let me smoke.